Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to properly export from Blender and then import into Unreal, as this is a pretty frequent problem a lot of people have, it's something they don't know how to do, and when they do know how to do it, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. So what a lot of people have an issue with is if I were to go into Unreal now, what people typically do is they export as an FBX and then import that FBX into Unreal. However, if I were to show you me importing an FBX into Unreal right now, we will get an issue which a lot of people have and is incredibly annoying. So once this has it imported, we'll see that what we get is we actually get loads of white materials. Now this one has actually worked fairly well compared to how it normally does. We notice a lot of these materials are just blue, white, black. These are the issues which we typically have. Sometimes it's worse than others, sometimes it works, it's kind of weird. Sometimes the data just doesn't transfer over. So what we're doing today is showing you a way where we can actually properly have this work perfectly. So if I had to delete all this, I'm going to show you the proper way of exporting from Blender and importing into Unreal. So if we go back to Blender here, you'll see I have this police vest, which is from a game I'm currently developing called The Department. I'll leave a link to the trailer for that on screen now and in the description down below if you want to check that out, which I definitely recommend. So again, this is a police vest from that, and what we're going to do is I want to export this. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to go to File, export and instead of an FBX what we want to do is we want to choose the GLTF 2.0 brackets dot GBL slash dot GLTF we want the GLTF file as this actually properly saves the textured data onto this as well so we can import the textures with this we want to then just choose where we want to export this so for me it would just be the department please vest and then you can change all these settings on the right down here if you wanted to. For example, what you want to include, your transforms, all this. However, you don't need to actually change anything. So this will be fine by default. And then we're going to export GLTF 2.0. Now that's done. We'll go back into Unreal. And so once we're back in Unreal, what we can do is we want to go to Edit, Plugins, and we want to just search for GLTF. And we want to make sure that we have the GLTF imported on here and it is ticked. So it is going to be enabled. So this obviously is in a beta version, but that's fine. It's going to work perfectly for us. Once you've enabled it, you're going to want to restart your editor to make sure that this is perfectly enabled. So again, we want to make sure we have the GLTF importer plugin enabled for us to be able to use the GLTF files. So once we've got that, we can close our plugins. And then what we'll do is we'll simply just import this the same way we would import in FBX normally. So we'll go to our content browser and we'll just drag and drop this in to our content browser here. Again, the same way we'd, we normally would. Now this is going to look slightly different, so we have a different import option here. This is going to be fine for me, so I'm just going to press import. And this may take a little bit longer than with an FBX, but that's because again, it's carrying over more data. So we'll just wait for this to load, and then I'll get back to you once this is fully imported. So here we are, it's now imported. So if I go to my content browser, you'll notice this is slightly different. So it also actually organizes it for us. So where I imported it, we've got the department police vest is a folder. In here, we've got materials, which will give us all of our materials, and we've got textures, which will give us all our textures, and we've got our actual vest here. And if we go to materials, you'll notice all of this is perfectly fine. Obviously, these are meant to be white because this is reflective white, white stainless steel reflective material, so those are meant to be that color. Obviously, the ones that we have here have the actual textures in them. If I had to go here, all of the textures have come across, which again, usually doesn't happen with an FBX. So if I had to drag in this vest here, you should notice that it is a absolutely massive, so I'll show you how to solve that in a second, but it has brought across all the textures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete this and then re-import it to show you a little fix for that. So if we were to force delete this and then we'll re-import it afterwards. So let's re-import this again like so. And you'll notice the reason this was massive is because the import uniform scale was set to 100. I want it to be set to one because one unreal unit is one centimeter. Now some 3D modeling programs have it set differently, so 100 is good by default. But for me, we, the way we created this was we made it to scale for the engine. So we want the import uniform scale to be one. Now that might be the same for a lot of what you're doing as well. I just make sure to double check. So for me, the import scale needs to be one. If I press import, now we should see this should be the perfect size for us instead of it being massive again, because what that would have been is basically 100 times bigger. So if I drag this in now, you'll see this is the perfect size for us. And again, this is looking perfect as well. Obviously the lighting in this level isn't amazing to be able to see it properly, but this is perfect for what we want. So again, doesn't look amazing right now. That's just because of the lighting in this level. It's not where it's meant to be, all of that stuff. However, this is imported all of the textures across with us for what we wanted. 
So this is why the GLTF is better, is it does transmit the data. So if I were to go back into Blender, you can see that this is what we have in here, and this is what we have in Unreal as well. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've got this model inside of Blender, exported it, and imported it into Unreal as well. Again, the lighting makes us look a little odd, but that is just the lighting. So an FBX might be good for a lot of what you're doing. However, a GLTF is always a lot better as it's, you definitely know the textures are going to come across with everything you want, which is a big issue you have, especially with more complex textures or more complex models. So a GLTF is a lot better way of doing it. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.